What's up, everybody? It's been probably five or six months, I think, since I've done a live. So I figured I'd stop back on here and say hey or answer any questions that you guys might have about the show. The show starts back tomorrow. Or not starts back, but there's a new episode tomorrow. So, like I said, if you have questions, ask away. I'd love to answer it for you guys. Missed all y'all. I haven't been on here in a long time. Just haven't felt like I've been doing lives. Just been busy. Living life. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. I had a great one. It's my first one in Arizona. It's a little hot. It's like 70 degrees, but I'm from Florida, so I'm, I'm used to it being a little bit hot during the Christmas time. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you. Is there going to be another season three? Um, you guys are just going to have to stay tuned. I can't talk about too many details when it comes to all that stuff, but as long as everybody keeps watching, the ratings stay good, then we will continue to come back and come back. And I want to come back as much as possible because I love all you guys. I want to keep entertaining as much as I possibly can. Greek gang. Love Greeks, baby. Got to be proud of it. How was Christmas for you? Mine was really good. I didn't really do too much. I wasn't with my family this year, unfortunately. Uh, my mom and her side of the family were in Kentucky, and my dad was in Florida, and my siblings were in Kentucky. But I was just so busy with work. I couldn't make the trip this year, unfortunately. It sucks not being with family on Christmas, but you got to do what you got to do. You look blonder. I don't know. I think it's just the lighting in the car for some reason right now. I haven't done nothing to my hair. It's getting longer. I cut it all off there for a little bit. It's finally starting to grow back out. Do you like Nosa? Yeah, I like Nosa. To keep it vague. When you're wearing the jacket for Goofy. It's, it's winter. You got to have the winter fashion. Come on now. And it was cold this morning when I left my house. That's part of the reason, too. Is there going to be an episode tomorrow? There is an episode tomorrow. Yes, I've already seen it. Yes, it is very entertaining. You guys will love it. Just don't judge too hard. Remember, it is a show. <laughs> Scottsdale, baby. I love Scottsdale. Hello from Oregon. I still haven't been to Oregon. I got to check it out. Can you not call girls doll? It's a turn off. Look, I'm sorry. I'm from the South. That's some of the vocabulary we use when we're from the South, so no, I'm not going to stop it just to appease you, Sarah Smith. Sorry about it. Not sorry about it. Let's see some abs. Heck no, man. This is December. This is Christmas. I ain't been dieting. I've been working out, but not like I usually have, so I'm in my bulk season. So I'm going to enjoy being able to wear a shirt while I can. I'll be ready when it's time to hit the beach house again. But right now, I'm trying to enjoy some cheesecake. <laughs> Would you ever go back to Mexico? Hell yeah, I freaking love Mexico. Cabo is one of the funnest vacations I've ever been on, like legit. Are you and Nosa together? You guys will have to watch how the show finishes out to see where me and Nosa lie with our relationship status. I feel like I never gain weight. Any tips you have? And I eat a lot. Dude, there's a lot of people out there that have really high metabolisms and you're just going to have to eat and eat and eat and you're probably going to need to buy like a mass gainer or something like that. It'll help you gain some weight, bro. You just It's all about calories in versus calories out. You're going to have to be eating more calories than you're burning throughout the day. That earring, y'all like that? I know I get a lot of hate for it, but this is my style. You don't have to like it. Watching from the UK. Hey, I just met a couple of you from the UK. They were all awesome. I really want to go on vacation there sometime. Uh, I went there for the first time a couple months ago, but I actually didn't like get to travel travel. I just kind of traveled through. So I definitely need to make a trip and uh, see what's all is out there. Where do you get the jacket from? Uh, I think I got this jacket from Express. Can you take the earring out? Sorry, no, can't. Nope. Natalie, what's up, girlie? Miss you. Hope you're doing good. Hope you had a good Christmas. You should go on the challenge. Come to Canada. You can call me, doll. <laughs> oh, y'all are awesome. Oh, and for the record, I've been getting a lot of hate for some of my pickup lines when we go out, but you have to realize my pickup lines when we were in Cabo. All right, dude, I was literally walking around with a bottle of Don Julio from like 9 a.m. in the morning until like 3 o'clock in the morning the next day. And the whole Cabo trip was like three or four days. I maybe slept 10 hours. And so I wasn't in my right headspace when I'm out there trying to spit game and doing my thing in Cabo. I was just not there. And so if it looks like I'm just really drunken all over the place, it's because I was. I don't usually talk like that. I don't usually use the same line over and over. But when you drink that much tequila, you don't remember what line you used here. You don't remember what line you used here. Eventually, it catches up to you. And unfortunately, mine was on the TV for everybody to laugh and make fun of. So it was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> 
visit Kansas for New Year's Eve. I wish I could. Haven't been to Kansas neither. I think I'm going to be in Philly. I'm going to be in Philadelphia for New Year's, actually. Fly out tomorrow. No, two days from now. Yes, I realize how much. Not before the show, but yes, I realize now. And so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I'm not going to talk. When I go to the bar, I'm going to sit in the corner and not socialize because apparently I don't know how to do it. <laughs> do you use new beats or AirPods to the gym? Uh, you need to use your AirPods. They're more swaggy, I think. Eye color, my eye color is blue. They are natural. Thank you. You're my favorite cast member. Thank you guys so much. Love y'all. Is there any chance that you and Nosa will have some kind of future together? Um, we might have a future now. I mean, you, you just have to be watching. You can't spoil it. Like I said, Natalie, I'm not taking my shirt off. Stop it. Don't antagonize. I'm trying to be a good boy. <laughs> Give me a shout out. Alyssa, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Hi from South Florida. What part of South Florida? I'm from South Florida originally. I was born in Fort Myers. Do you like Natalie because she's in your life? Yeah, I love Natalie. She's awesome. She's awesome. Hope you heard that, Natalie. People asking questions about you. Uh, has the show shown the real you? Um, That's a difficult question for me because... That's just a very difficult question. I'd say the first season was 100% genuinely me. Going into the second season, the show got a lot of hype. Uh, there was a lot of... Well, let me think where I can go with this. Yeah, the first season was 100% genuine than me. We'll just keep that there. So you guys have seen the real me, 100%. And everybody who knows me actually personally knows that about me as well. Don't want to get my tr don't want to get myself in trouble for talking too much. Guys, stop telling him to change. It's his style. He likes what he likes. Get off of my girl. Thank you. Preach. <laughs> I'm Greek too. Greek pride, baby. How's your sponsorship with Jeremiah and how's your workout stuff? Everything's going great, guys. If you want to see my workout routines, my diet, everything that I do when it comes to my fitness lifestyle, uh, I have my own program. You can go and download it now and it has literally everything you want to know about it. Do you get used to be, do you get used to a camera around you during being filmed? Uh, the first season when we first showed up, like, I had never really done anything like that before, and so it took me probably two or three weeks to get used to it because, I mean, they literally follow you everywhere. Don't matter what you're doing. Don't matter if you're going to take a shit. Don't matter if you're going to just, like, lay out and take a nap. They're still going to be filming you. So, like, the first week or two, yeah, dude, it was kind of awkward. Like, there'd be times I'd be sitting in the kitchen just eating, like, eggs or something, and the camera dude's just sitting there in my face, and I'd literally look at him. And I'm like, what are you recording, bro? Like, what, what do you need from me? He's like, no, we just record everything. Oh, shit. Okay, this one takes to get, I'm getting used to. And that's what you all have to realize. Like, the show, it airs for an hour a week. We're filmed 24 hours of the day. Like, you can imagine how much stuff is filmed that doesn't actually make the show. And so if it looks like people are getting, like, mad, like, over little stuff super quick, it's really not the case. Like, we're with each other all the time, and you don't really see what happens all the time. So we're always on each other's nerves. You know, there's a reason that we have such tempers in that house. You get really tired of each other. And when you're drinking that much alcohol, you're due for some drama. It's just how it goes. You fine as fuck. It don't matter what you say or what these people say. Thank you. <laughs> Please never stop being yourself. It's good to see a positive light in the world. Still, with all the negativity. Thank you so much. I promise I won't ever change. And this promise I will not break to you guys. Are you dating anyone right now or single as a Pringle? Uh, I like to stay pretty private about my private life. And I keep my TV life in the TV life. I like having some time where... Or just parts of my life where everybody doesn't know about. So that's one of those things that I'm just going to keep to myself. Favorite place you've ever been to? That's a hard question. I've been to some pretty cool places. The Dominican Republic was pretty nice. Cabo was actually really nice too. Can you say hi, Laura? Laura, what's up, girl? Sorry, I'm not allowed to say dollar girl anymore. What's up? Nice to see you. Giselle, what's up? I'm going to DM you. I really need some advice. Guys, I'll try to go through the DMs and answer any questions. Just gets backed up every now and then, but I do my best to respond. People care more about your personal life than their own. This is facts. I did not know people could get so upset about the decisions I make with my own personal life. People are getting out here butthurt, sending me death threats and stuff for not wanting to date somebody. Like, come on. If I want to date somebody, I'm going to date somebody. I promise. Doesn't have to be the person you want. Let me live. 
Why be good when you can be fun? See, that's where I have problems. I love to have fun, but I'm trying to be good at the same time. You know, I'm trying to find that perfect balance where you can get both. You know, like the little taco commercial where you can have the soft shell or the crunchy shell, where you can have both. That's how I feel like with being good and having fun at the same time. I'm trying to find that balance, all right? It's difficult. <laughs> oh my God. Why did somebody just ask <laughs> Carly, do you miss Marissa Bayer? Sure, miss her. <laughs> I'm over 40 and I watch the show so entertaining. Thank you. I'm glad all ages get to watch the show. Maybe not all ages. Maybe the youngins should probably stay away. I wasn't uh, the best influence on some of them. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> yes, it's never okay to judge anyone. A guy, let him live. He's great. Thank you. That's what I've been preaching. I try not to judge anybody else on their decisions. Let everybody just do what they want. It's, your, it's not your life. You ain't got to worry about it. Try to pronounce my name. I want to laugh. Taviar? Taviar? Is that good? Probably not. Bro, I can't even pronounce regular words right. And so, I'm sorry. That probably was not right either. Please save your live. Got you. I will save it and I will post it for anybody that wants to watch it. Not necessarily that entertaining, but for anybody that wants to watch it, I guess I shall do that. Do you still model for romance books? So any upcoming? Yes, I still do that. I don't do it as much as I used to just because I was kind of doing that full time right before the show started, but I got kind of busy with a bunch of other stuff that I've kind of dabbled in. And so I still do a shoot maybe every two or three months. Uh, I did one probably three months ago in Canada and I got a couple more books that are on the way that are coming out. So you guys will get to see all those. Oh my God, got out face. I don't know what that means. I hope it's good, probably not. Say my name, Sherilyn from Vegas. What up, Sherilyn? Do you want to date? I've, I mean, I've always wanted to date. I said that when I went into the beach house season one. I mean, I kind of, when I went into the beach house the second time, I kind of liked to front that I didn't want to date. I just wanted to have fun. But I think anybody who even says that, that was a front a little bit. Everybody wants somebody at the end of the day. And that's just how humans, you know, operate. Everybody wants to have that one person that's there for you no matter what. So, yeah, I would like to date somebody. I'm Greek too, say something in Greek. Unfortunately, I do not speak any Greek. My grandfather does, but I do not. That hair though, I know guys, I'm so happy it's coming back. I'm so happy. I cut it all off and I was like distraught over it for a long time because my hair is kind of like my identity at this point. And so yeah, I was not happy. My manager wasn't happy when I cut it off either. So it's finally getting back to the flow status. How to get over your first heartbreak. That's a difficult one because I had my heart broke when I was like 16. The girl that I was dating, uh, she broke up with me, and then less than a month later, uh, I called one of my best friends up at the time, and he was on a date with my ex-girlfriend. So yeah, it was awesome, heartbreak. I mean, and that guy's defense, I don't want to date the chick for like three months, but still, bro, this shit still hurts this day. This still hurts. <laughs> oh, and I forgot how to get over that. Uh, dude, it just takes time. Eventually, you'll meet somebody else that'll make you forget about that person. That's just how it goes. So how long are you guys actually there for? A few weeks, hard to tell over the one hour episodes. Um, I think the filming lasted, I think it was 75 days. I think we filmed for 75 days straight. So that was 75 days of me drinking shots, shots, shots every single day. And I'm not talking just two or three, like I was drinking uh, a lot. Like if you saw myself starting to change throughout the season, it was probably because I was just dead from all the alcohol like honestly like i was starting to lose it towards the end of filming like, i think all the cast was like anybody who drinks that much alcohol eventually that shit takes a toll on you man shit ain't good for you that's why outside of filming i really don't drink that much uh let's see a couple more questions guys and i must go why don't why don't you date no so the two of you have so much chemistry I mean, you guys don't know how it ends the season, so, I mean, you're just gonna have to see what happened. Who said we ain't? You're an amazing person. Thank you guys. You know, sometimes I start to doubt myself if I'm a good person because I get a lot of hate on here for some reason. I don't necessarily try to be a bad person, but for some reason, some people take me that way. But the real ones know I try to do the best I can, treat everybody with the same respect that I would want. Uh, I want to hang out with you guys one day. Come on down to Panama City and maybe you'll bump into us one day. 
Are you Jewish? I am not. I am Greek and Cuban. Love your smile. It's so genuine. Thank you. My smile is kind of butchered now. We got a busted up lip. And my smile, my lip like kind of drags now when I smile, so I'm not necessarily happy about that. But it is what it is. Can't change it. Uh, I'm in a G wagon right now for that. Some whoever asks. Good for you guys. Stay on the rise, always, baby. Gus, I'm loving the hairstyle right now. I kind of want to make out with you. Wow, awesome. <laughs> I don't think my comments can be seen. No, I see it. I don't want to shout. Wait, I want a shout out from Arkansas. Allison from Arkansas. What up, boo? Addy, what's up? You. You and blah, blah would be really, really cute together. I do agree, uh, Sarah Smith. Your eyes. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, I need to go inside and grab some groceries. But it was nice talking to everybody. And do not forget that the new episode of Florida Bama Shore is on tomorrow night, 9 8 Central. And it's our last trip or our last day in Mexico. So you guys will not be disappointed. Love you all. Thank you for the time. Y'all have a good, happy holidays.